Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I am doing the Swiss part of my five or top five knife sales. So in the end of this video, I am going to expect myself to have only five knives, and I kind of laid out, laid out some parameters for myself at least, and I might choose, well, let me see here. Let's see. Um, so this is a Sportsman by Victorinox, and essentially a Sportsman is the same as a, I am just losing track of all the names here because there's a lot here, but the, the um, Commander, so this is a Vanger Commander, and this is a Sportsman, but they essentially have the same tool set, okay? So corkscrew, reamer, uh, nail file, and can opener and cap lifter. So these would equate to one knife. Instead of just ending up with just five, just five only, um, I'm going to try to keep it to like five tool sets or styled knives. So these in my eye right here, these two are the same knife essentially because they have the same tool set. So that still leaves a lot on the chopping block, okay? And I am going to, at the very end of this video, give you the prices of what I want for each, or if you want to just buy them all, just let me know. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I have not really organized all this. I really just laid these out. So I'm going to do my absolute best here to keep these all organized. So the first one that I am definitely going to be keeping is this one here. And this is the Victorinox Champion Plus, And it's essentially going to be a champion. Um, this is just going to be the newer one with the clear magnifying glass. And this just has almost everything that I need. This lives in the kitchen and has this O-Lite on the end of it. And really, this is a very handy tool to have in the kitchen. So that is going to be the first one. So that's already one. Now I need to kind of be very, very careful of what I choose, okay? Now, these are all the knives that I actually carry. I have a few that are in my, I guess you could say, private collection. And those are mostly for, um, I guess, historical perspective perspective videos or possibly videos that might be comparing one tool to another or it might be because they are in such great condition I don't want to sell them I just want to keep them as an investment so those are not actually out here uh, those are kind of separate I don't even carry any of those so there's my first one okay now my second one is actually going to be the Spartan light and the Spartan Light, I actually took on a trip with me, and this thing was so handy. Um, I, I used this so many times, primarily because who I was visiting was my parents, and their garage door light is actually not working. So at night, if I had to go in there and get anything out of the garage for them, um, I used this. And I actually didn't know their light was not going to be working, so this actually came in a lot uh, well, came in handy and came to save the day a lot there. So I really do use this quite a bit. So that is going to be two, okay? So I have three left. Now, this is really going to be very, very hard for me, okay? So I have essentially three left. I can automatically tell you what I'm going to be getting rid of, okay? Um, this crest knife here is going to be gone. Um, I'm going to be doing a comparison review of this versus the Colonial versus a Spartan or even a Huntsman. And then after that, these are just going to go up on eBay or something or whoever wants them. Um, these things are just something I don't carry all that often. I bought primarily because I was curious. So um, let me kind of put these over here because these are going to go. So this is going to be the go. Um, going away and sold and then this is going to be the keep side so there we go now this is a Wenger I think tradesman it is essentially a deluxe tinker and it's got pliers here and this is going to go okay that is going to go so that's not going to stay um, this is a Wenger I believe 
I, I want to say Traveler. Um, and this has scissors, okay, the Vanger style scissors. Okay, can, it's essentially going to be a climber. And I am very, very tempted to keep a climber in the collection, which is going to be this knife. I am very tempted to keep this because it is such a, a good knife. It's a very uh, robust knife and it's, th it's very thin and slim. Um, I'm going to have to think about that. So that would equate to the same knife because it's got the same tool set essentially. Um, I'm going to be thinking about that because I actually really do like that. It's very compact. And then this one here is going to be the same. Um, well, essentially it's not, it's not going to be the same because it has a nail file, but I don't think I'm going to knock it for, well, you know, honestly, I don't even carry these and I've been telling myself, don't sell your vangers, but in the back of my head, I'm like, why do you have them if you're not carrying them? So I actually may sell those. I may get rid of those. Next is going to be a Viking, and this one is in very good shape. Has wonderful spring tension on it. Very nice blades. And the Viking is essentially going to be your tourist or your uh, Spartan. And I just don't carry this enough. I do not carry that enough. So that's gonna go as well. So is this one. I think this is called um, it's not the Esquire, but I think it's called the Executive or Ambassador or something like that. They call it um, maybe the, not the Esquire, but it's something regal. Um, and um, that's going to go. I just don't carry that enough. Now, this is going to be a Shrade, um, Imperial Shrade Century Knife. And I'm tempted to keep these because they're essentially Spartan. Um, I carry this one quite a bit. Um, I, I am probably going to think about that. Now this is going to be the same as a Victorinox Traveler. And that's going to be also something I'm going to have to think about. This is a Wenger Apprentice and this is definitely going to be going. I just do not carry this enough. This is probably from the 1990s. So that's going to go into the sale bin there. Um, this is, I believe, a, oh no, this is going to be a Trail Master. No, no, tra not Trail Master. I think it's Trail Master. I'm not sure. I think Tradesman, trails, Trail Master, Tradesman's over there. Trail Master, I think. So this is essentially a Huntsman, but with a Phillips, okay? Field Master, that's what it is. It's a Field Master. So um, this Field Master is very tempting. I actually do use that quite a bit, so that might go in there. This is another Viking that's going to go into the sale pile. Um, this one here is going to be a Vi uh, a Spartan that has my name on it, and I actually found this on eBay. I didn't put my name on that. So that essentially is going to go there with the SI ISC knife because I need to think about that as well. The executives, okay, the executives are great knives. These are wonderful knives. This one actually has a P38 can opener on it, and this was given to me by Tobias over at Knife Chats with Tobias. Now, I actually think this is a great EDC. You have essentially a, a small, uh, uh, a very small blade here, an even smaller pen blade there, and then you have your screwdriver, orange peeler, and then over here you have a nail file, nail cleaner, and then you have scissors. And then with this on there, you have a can opener. So that is actually a rather compact tool set. So I'm actually going to think about that. This is what I keep on my keys. This is a tool, tool chest micro light. And I actually have two of these. Um, it has a small LED there. And I keep this on my keys, but I honestly do not use the awl. Um, I use this more than any tool on there. And that's that small screwdriver. I use the scissors, um, I, I sometimes use the cap lifter, but to be fair, I do not use this enough to justify the weight of it on my keys. So this is probably, yeah, this is going to go into the, the bin here, and I have two of these. One is in slightly con better condition. So next is going to be a hiker, and the hiker 
And you know what, Dominic was talking about this over on his channel and the hiker just doesn't make a lot of sense because you have a saw but you don't have the scissors and really the scissors make or break a Victorian ox knife for me sometimes. And I really do like this hiker. I've only used it a few times. It's practically brand new. Um, but if I had to do, uh, have to have to have one, I would go field master and then have the scissors and the saw versus the hikers. So that's probably gonna go over here as well. Um, this is going to be a super tinker. Now the super tinker is definitely something I use quite a bit. Um, and it's because of how slim it is. It's very slim. And I know the Fieldmaster is very similar to that, but this just makes more sense because I don't use the saw enough on the Fieldmaster to really keep the Fieldmaster all that much. It really goes in the garage and I use the saw to cut small pieces of wood or maybe cut a piece of wood off of a larger piece. Um, and it's just something that's convenient, but I don't have to have it. This is probably an almost definite, okay? Now, the handyman is something that I carry quite a bit, but there are some tools here that I just, I could do without, but I could miss. Like, I, I would miss the pliers because I do use those, but I don't use the saw all that much. So that might have to go. Now, this here is going to be a mountaineer, and the mountaineer has the file, and has the scissors and then has the corkscrew. And I actually would prefer this over a climber, wherever that climber may be. Climber, climber, where did you go? Um, I believe this is the climber. So for me, I would probably not carry the climber. I'd probably carry this over this because you get the file. So the climber is gonna go. And I think this is gonna go here. So there is my third and then this here is the super tinker mm, 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 mm. now I have two left so then here is the evolution 11 I believe this is the evolution 11 from Wenger and it essentially gives you everything that's in a tinker small but it gives you the nail file and I actually use this quite a bit. I carry it quite a bit. And I actually prefer it over, um, let's say, a tourist. I mean, the tourist is great, wherever that may be. Uh, tourist, tourist, tourist. So the tourist is, not tourist, the sportsman is fantastic. Okay, I really do love it. Corkscrew's great. Um, I actually prefer this nail file over the Wenger style but one of the thing that's one of the things that's great about that is you get the Phillips on the back and I don't I mean I really do like to have the corkscrew because you get the combination screwdriver but at the same time I don't use the corkscrew all that much I do enjoy wine but man I've been going for the old wine opener that I got in the knife lot that I restored and I really love using that so really when it comes to getting these um, corkscrews, I'm moving more towards Phillips heads. So I don't, I don't know though. Um, but the Super Tinker is great to have, um, but it, it hmm, I don't know. These are probably definites. Okay, so this is a standard slash Spartan. And the Spartan is the classic Victorinox. You have a pen blade, then you have a main blade, and then you also have um, a cap lifter and screwdriver, and then the can opener, and then the corkscrew. But like I said, I just do not use the corkscrew all that much. So these are really not making a lot of sense to keep. So that's probably gonna go I am probably going to keep this one only because it has my name on it, okay? But I'm, uh, it gets in kind of a, a gray area there, but it's not gonna be, you know, over here with my mainstays, but it's gonna stay with me because it's got my name on it, okay? So that's gonna kind of go into my collection case. Here is an 84 millimeter walker, and this is my second walker, and I do enjoy this um, knife when it's in my pocket 
But man, only if it had a Phillips on the back. If it had the Phillips on the back, it would be almost perfect. It would be almost perfect. If it had a Phillips on the back and then the, the all on the back here, that would be almost the perfect knife. But I think that's going to go as well. Um, this is going to be the Fieldmaster. And the Fieldmaster makes sense to have because this, the, the saw is there. But the Super Tinker is just a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter. And I just don't use the saw all that much. So I think the Fieldmaster is going to go over there. So there's that. That's probably going to lean more over here. Um, this is the Pioneer X. And I modified this one. I got rid of the key ring attachment in the back. But I honestly do not carry this enough. I told myself I would never sell this one again because, well, first off, they're expensive. But um, it's just a very solid knife. It's a great knife. And you get a nice reamer here. But I do not carry it. I, it, the weight is there and I just don't carry it enough and I really like the red personally and then you get back tools this doesn't offer that so I'm going to sell that as well so um, let me see here this is a handyman I think from Wenger and this is essentially going to be a field master okay you get the saw and everything and the reason why I had this is because well MacGyver used one but um, for me personally I just do not carry it all that much, so this will also be up for grabs. These are going to be kind of in the maybe, then the Spartan. Well, actually, the Spartan is gone because I don't carry it enough, so this is also going to be up for grabs. Or if nobody snags it, it's going to go back with the rest of the ISC knives that I have. Um, then I have the executive here. Then I have the handyman, which has a few things I don't use. But the thing is this, okay, I have the Mountaineer. And then I have a, a field master and then I have the super tinker and honestly this is like a deluxe tinker but it doesn't have the uh, the Phillips in the back but it has the pliers it has everything else and the Swiss champ that I have actually doesn't have pliers so this actually makes a lot of sense to have in the collection and I think I just buggered this up um, because I put, ooh, I messed myself up here. What did I have over here? Did I choose to keep this handyman? I think I did. I don't think I did. Um, oh, no, no. I had this uh, Mountaineer over here, and then I was going to think about keeping this as my mainstay. Um, but this thing's heavy. It takes up a lot of room. Okay, so this is another executive, so that's going to go right there. This here is a custom I made, and this is going to be um, a single-bladed 84 millimeter knife. Um, I carry this quite a bit, but I honestly don't carry it enough, so this is going to be up for grabs as well. So that's a custom. Um, here is a small classic, but this is actually an older one that has the cross-etched nail files so that will be up for sale and then it has the older style scissors with a replaced spring so that is up for grabs and this is a tourist and like I said the Spartan I don't carry it all that much so that's going to be also up for grabs get this out of here so that's a little more space now this is the Ranger okay so the Ranger essentially is going to be the same as a Mountaineer but it's going to add a saw to it okay so you get the saw and then you also get the nail file but if I was going to keep this I might as well keep the handyman right I mean this basically adds your pliers on top of that so you get your pliers and then you get another usable tool but it's not as heavy as this the handyman is much heavier and you don't get an additional tool in the back there but the Ranger is a very good knife indeed. So that's going to go into the maybe. Hercules, I use this quite a bit. So that is definitely going to go in the keep. So I'm going to have those. So I really have only room for one more. Um, this one here is just your standard tinker. Okay. Now this one here, I still have to do a follow-up review on. But I have been using this quite a bit. But this one, I mean, if I had to use, if I had to choose... 
I would probably go with Super Tinker over Tinker. So that's probably going to go over here until at least I get the video out for that. And then this is another Tinker here. And this one, nope, the other one I put in here was actually given to me by Tobias. So I probably will throw that into my collection one, but I do have another one here that I will be getting rid of. So that will probably go in my private collection as a gift knife. Same thing with the floral. Um, this one was given to me by Tobias Gibson uh, for some work. So I'm probably going to keep that in like a nice little bag there just as a keepsake. Um, next is going to be a cadet, okay? Um, the cadet, I just honestly don't carry this one enough. I do not carry this one enough. So this one also will be up for grabs. So what do we have left? Okay, so I've got my keepsake ones over here. They, those are just going to go in the box. Then I also have this escort, and this is a yellow escort and this here is just essentially a main blade and then a nail cleaning tool and i just don't carry this one enough it just goes with me on the weekends yellow's easy to find easy to see but i just don't carry that enough so that's going to be up for grabs okay so i essentially have my four here but now i need to choose my fifth the handyman is going to be kind of a all, end all be all kind of go with me anywhere knife but it has a lot of stuff that I don't need all the time and to be fair like this one would probably be my everyday carry whereas this one here is probably going to be my travel then this one here lives at home and is utility then this one probably actually lives at home as well for the backyard work and housework so we've got two that stay home usually then we have two for travel and everyday carry. I need one for probably discreetness, okay? Discreet carry or um, just ease of carry that still is quite capable. Um, I think the Ranger is going to go into the sale because I just don't carry that enough. It's heavy. And it's not as heavy as the Ranger, but I mean, I don't need the saw. I just really don't need the saw. I don't use that enough. Um, I also have the Evolution 11, and that actually would be a good contender because, you know, I, I don't always need scissors, and I may even just have like a classic on my keys or just something small that has scissors. Um, I don't know. Um, that is tough because that is a really good everyday carry knife. So these are my travel and then something easy to carry that's going to be uh, compact and usable. Um, the Vanger is just going to go in here. I just don't carry it. I bought it because I was curious about it and I wanted to see the scales. Um, this here is going to be a tourist. This one here is also a good contender because of the nail file. Um, but don't use the corkscrews so this would probably be a good choice as well so I think the tourist is going to go in there as well um, the super tinker okay the super tinker is just seriously a great knife um, you got the scissors uh, you have the Phillips in the back and you have all of your other main blades the executives I think I'm going to sell these I I kind of hoarded these because I was worried about them um, being discontinued, but I've seen that they're really not, and I don't carry this enough to justify it. So I think I'm going to sell my executives as well. Um, I do have a few coming in the mail, but those are going to be for review, and then I'm just going to sell them afterwards. I'm going to take this P38 off of here, um, okay? So that won't come with this knife, and neither will the combination screwdrivers. Um, so if you see one with that, it's just going to go away. Um, it's not going to be included unless you want it. It'll be about a $3 um, upcharge on the price of the knife. So the executives I'm going to get rid of. Um, I have a super tinker. I have this and then I have a handyman. I don't think I'm going to keep the handyman just because it has the saw um, and the pliers. And then I have this field master, which I don't think I'm going to keep. Um, and then this one is what? This No, this is the Mountaineer. This is the Fieldmaster. Fieldmaster, I think... No, I just don't use the saw. Now, question is this. 
I have scissors on this, so if I need scissors, I can just carry this, but it doesn't have the Phillips. Um, if I need the Phillips, I have a 3D Phillips on this Spartan here, Spartan Light. So there's that if I need a Phillips. Um, but if I wanted to carry something with a Phillips and it has a nail file for travel, this would probably be the good one to go. So. I think I'm going to get rid of the Super Tinker, which is kind of surprising. But this ear is a pretty penny. These things are getting more expensive. I don't know why. But I think it's a great travel knife and a little unique. So these are my five Victorian Oxes that I am going to be keeping. The Swiss Champ C or the um, Champion, the Hercules, the Mountaineer, okay, and then the Spartan Light, and then Evolution 11. I believe that is what that is. And then these here are just going to be sentimental because, well, one was a gift, two were gifts, really, or exchange for work, and then one has my name on it and nobody wants that. So these are gonna go in the bin where I keep my sentimental knives, and then these are gonna be what I keep. Um, so now you're wanting to know prices. Okay, so I haven't really looked up any of these. Um, for pricing, so I'm probably going to be giving these away, but uh, for the handyman, uh, shipping within the United States is going to be free of charge. So I'm going to ask 55 for the handyman, okay? And if you want, you can email me and just quote me on the timestamp of the pricing, okay? So the handyman is going to be 55, field master is going to be 40, um, the no, this is the field master. This is the ranger. So the ranger is going to be 40. Field master is going to be, um, field master is going to be about like 35. Okay, 35 bucks. Okay, super tinker. I'm going to say 35 dollars for the super tinker as well. Um, this commander. I'm going to ask 25 for that. The sportsman. I'm going to ask, this is a sportsman, right? Or is this a tourist? This is a sportsman. I'm going to ask 30 for that. I don't know why they're getting more expensive, but I'm going to ask 30 for that. Um, the walker, $25 for the walker. The small little escort in yellow, it will come with the sheath. I'm going to ask 25 for that. The executive, I'm going to ask 35 for this executive, and it will not come with that. But if you want this one, it's going to be one that's on this. So that's the condition of that one. This one here is going to be $40 because it's in much better condition. So $40 for that. Um, then we have the tourist. Um, tourist, 20 bucks. Uh, I'm going to just ask 20 bucks. My solo 84 millimeter custom, I'm going to ask $35 for that. So there's that one. Uh, the handyman from Wenger, I'm going to ask 45 for that one. The Pioneer X, I'm going to ask 45 for that one. The uh, Tinker, I'm going to ask 20 bucks for that. Um, this is a standard from the mid 90s, I'm going to ask 25 for that. The Apprentice, I'm going to ask 30 for that. The cadet, I'm going to ask 35 for this one. This small wanger, I'm going to ask 15. Um, I would prefer to sell it with one of these, so try to combine that somehow. Um, the Viking, I'm going to ask 25 for the Viking. I'm going to ask 15 for this one just because it's in a little rough shape. That's a Viking. Um, then I have a Traveler, a Vanger Traveler, and I'm going to ask 40 for this one. This is in very good shape. So that is that one. Um, this is another Traveler. Again, very good shape, except for that scratch there, but I'm going to ask 40 for that. We have this one here, which is a classic from the 70s. I'm going to ask 30 for that one as well. The ISC knife Spartan, I'm going to ask 25 for this one as well. Um, this is going to be your um, 
journeyman or a journeyman, I think, or uh, I can't remember, tradesman. The tradesman, I'm going to ask 70 for this one, okay? That one is just hard to find right now, especially in that condition. Um, this one here is a climber, nothing special. I'm going to ask $25 for that. This is the Colonial from, um, well, Colonial, but this is their Swiss Master Series. Oh, 20 bucks. You know, that'll include the shipping. Uh, the Swiss Microlite uh, Pocket Tool Chest. These are getting so hard to find. I'm going to have to have $65 for that, especially for the other ones. So $65 for each. And then this one here is the Hiker. Nothing special. I'm going to ask $25 for that. And then this one would be free, okay? I'll throw it in to anybody that wants it. Okay, that'll be free. Um, if you want it, I'll just pay for the shipping and you got it. Okay, there's no point in asking anything for that. Then this one I forgot, um, but this is just an, another escort without a key ring. And um, this one here, I will ask 15 for that. So that is it. So these are the five I'm left with. These are all, if nobody buys them, they're all going on eBay in a knife lot. So you can email me. My email will be in the description below. And if you are interested, just email me, comment, um, shoot me a message on Instagram, whatever you want. Um, shipping within the United States is free of charge. You have the timestamps of my prices and just keep me honest. Um, tell me which one I showed you, what condition it was. If I have multiples, you, I can make a deal if you want to buy multiples. I can make a deal for you, so just let me know. But all of these are going away. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.